<laughs> apart. Yeah. We don't give, have the tape measure this time. Ta oh, yeah, that's Last right. Week you didn't have that. I had the tape measure. I saw that. Yeah. Oh, you watched. I watched the videos watched when, I'm on, when I'm on vacation, even when I'm on vacation. <laughs> so welcome back. We are talking still about the effects of coronavirus on our, well, our world country P pretty much every, every aspect world, of life even people who don't speak english watch us so it, it, it's the whole world mundo uh, todo el mundo todo el mundo there you go el mundo grande yeah, see see we're pretty good yeah grew up in california and yeah you might be able to speak spanish like that too speaking <laughs> the spanish are you speaking the spanish but yeah what well welcome what what so bien 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 vientos ben venidos ben, <laughs> ben who ben, bien venidos welcome to the Auburn metal group youtube channel we are talking about effects of covid 19 yes. on uh on everybody and one of the things we're talking about today is the effect of social distancing which we're trying to demonstrate not doing the greatest job Dr. Gwen wrote a little blog post about it in the Dr. Green Knight blog. They might find it at drgreennight.com. And there's a link to it in our description of this video. Yeah, check it out. Along with our fairly usual link to the Johns Hopkins University COVID-19 world the map. map which, which has changed. It's changing like <laughs> what do you know? every couple hours. But now they went back to, um, oh, yeah. you showed me that they went back to uh, counties. Uh, yeah. that are affected rather than just states. For a while, we just give you a whole yeah. state at once. Now, yeah, gives you counties again like it did early on. Hey, we wanted to let you know, though, because we've talked about it a little bit, the merchandise available. Oh, look at that. Merchandise available. Well, one of the things that you can get on YouTube is the Auburn Medical Group mug with a picture of Dr. Mark and Dr. Gwaine. And then look on the that. back, the name with the logo. So That's right. Uh, if Check you happen to get one of these and take a picture of yourself with it and put it on Instagram and make sure it gets the attention of at Dr. Bond, we'll show the picture on the show. Oh, wow. We will show the picture on that. the show. You. I used show twice in that sentence. <laughs> yes. You could be famous. So. Internet famous. Or, or if you get <laughs> one of the t-shirts or tank tops or the, one of them is kind of like a tank top dress thing, sort of. Have you looked? No, yeah. okay. uh, there's a tank top dress with our pictures well, on it. Well, no, not with our pictures. With, with our medical group. Well, let us know if you'd rather uh, have our pictures. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> but, sign, sign right here, Dr. Vaughn. But, but the reason it's mostly <laughs> women's clothing is because when you look that's, on that's YouTube our audience, and see yeah. who watches our show, it is... Mostly women. Two-thirds women. All you women who are... So I... Actually, you know... We do not appeal we, to men. Well, men just don't care about their health. How about that? <laughs> So let's just be sexist. Except for, uh, Except for Bernard. Bernard. Rusty, Bernard. Bernard. Rusty Bernard. Rusty, you're with us, man. You care yeah. about health. And yeah. you can but Laura you Spurs. take a picture with the mug, too. Yeah. And Laura. Hello. Hello. Laura, always Laura. You. Thank you, Laura. Yeah. Um, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. And so those of you who are watching this and wondering why we're talking to people while we're doing a video, it's because we're doing this live. And these are channel members who we know. And you can be a channel member, too, by joining the channel. Yeah. Do it. Do it. So your blog post was about social distancing, social distancing, um, which is a good thing. I, I, I first want to put that out there. Social distancing is a good thing and uh, will decrease the, the spread of uh, COVID-19. So, so right now, I, I'm sure you all are very well aware of the term, um, what's it called? Flattening the curve. So we want to make sure that we kind of unfortunately drag this out, but we're dragging it out so that we don't overwhelm the healthcare system. We only have a certain number of um, uh, what am I trying to say? Breathing machines and, and um, health care ventilators. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, doctors to take care of you. Um, so, the curves. That's that's a yeah. line from the Dukes of Hazard uh, theme song. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, straight. No, I'm sorry. Straightening the curves, flattening the hills. Oh, there you go. That's what it was. I'm, I watched it. <laughs> My mom didn't like it. Didn't like me watching it. She didn't want you going out and jumping your car over the ravine. I don't know if that's what she didn't like about it. Oh, that would be your brother. She... No. <laughs> she, she did not like... My mother did not like Deuce of Hazard. It had a character on it whose name was spelled E-N-O-S. How would you pronounce E-N-O-S if it was a person's name? Enos? And it well, rhymes with something? Is that why? Well, well 
Roscoe P. Coltrane, the uh, sheriff of the of Hazard County, would pronounce it anus. Ah. And she didn't like that a character was called anus. I, I can spelled understand. E-N-O. He Grandma. actually had his own show like for a while. That. There was a show called Enos. Oh. I pronounced it Enos. Oh, well, that, that rhymes with. A, I, either way, it could be bad. Oh, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even thinking that. Huh. Anyways. Okay. So, moving. I'm yeah. sorry. Back to. I digress. Back to where we're at. Uh, uh, social distancing. And so it'll definitely flatten this curve and help us out. Um, but there are some problems that, with that. Uh, there is some very good research that sh- shows us that uh, when we um, are in contact with people, literal like physical contact with people, it's actually helpful to for us um, uh, he- uh, for, for our health. It can actually uh, decrease our um, ability to catch the cold. Some studies have done. I actually reference a study in there, which is an, a fascinating read. Um, if you're into reading medical literature, uh, but but uh, check out the the blog post and check out that study. Pretty neat um, that that social or uh, sorry physical touch actually can de- can increase your immunity and decrease your chance of getting the cold flu. So, is is this uh, social distancing actually hurting us? Is it um, by not being able to have that interaction? Well, obviously, uh, yeah, but it's it's a good thing. Social distancing is still a good thing. So what can we do? Um, to, to actually help out with that. What can we do without, um, without touching? Without touching. So I, I actually referenced another study. Uh, back in 2009, they did another study that, um, that showed that uh, compassionate words can actually uh, do the same thing. So um, pretty another uh, neat study uh, where, where they did, did this. Uh, um, uh, I guess they, they evaluated the, the participants in the study where they were able to evaluate their doctors on how compassionate their care was, and then they tracked their symptoms of the cold. And they, they showed that uh, they had shorter duration of symptoms, and also uh, not only shorter duration, but um, decreased symptom severity uh, just by compassionate words. Uh, it's pr- pretty, pretty neat. Um, as, as part of my other job as a uh, medical director of patient experience, that's, that's part of what I'm uh, excited about, part of what I, uh, I get passionate about, um, compassionate care and having uh, the patient have a good experience within the office. So a lot of that is teaching compassion uh, to physicians and um, a, a reading a book on it called Compassionomics. That's actually where these studies came from. Uh, and it's it's just amazing how, how it can help. So back to uh, this social distancing, what can we do? Um, I'll hand that over to you. So obviously we can't touch each other. Yeah, it sounds like from what you're saying, that we need to be using compassionate words. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what we need to do. So um, I think you, what'd you title this uh, YouTube show, The Compassion? Good, bad, and necessary. The good, bad, and necessary. So yes, there's gonna be problems with social to social distancing, but it is necessary. So how do we make it good? So we're going to have to concentrate on, since we can't have Physical, physical, physical communication. We need to work on verbal communication, right? Which we can do with FaceTime and phone, right? And you, you, or even in person if there's distance. Yeah, if you have six feet, that's okay. I mean, you can yeah. you can um, go for a walk with somebody and Absolutely. still maintain distance, have a good conversation, and still be six feet away from them. Yes. Um, you can have lunch with somebody. You know, if they're on the other side of the table, but what ways away? You're on still on the patio. <laughs> Yeah, Don't Pro- probably not this close, uh, but yeah, uh, you can still Take do that. Out. So, so there are ways to get around the social distancing while to still show compassion yeah. to those around you. And, and I think this is probably most true for for the vulnerable around us. Um, older mm-hmm. folks, uh, you know, grandparents and such, they don't always have a lot of interaction anyways because of um, mobility issues. So this is just compounding that and making it worse. Uh, so I think it's very important if you have a grandma or a parent that's that's older, give them a call. Uh, Absolutely. You, you know, FaceTime them. Do what you can to check in on them and make sure they're doing well and um, just show them that the compassion because they need that. And because people who are over 65 are especially vulnerable or people with chronic illness, if you have neighbors who are in effect shut-ins by mm. COVID-19 and if you live in those states like we do with the orders to stay in, yeah. uh, except for going out and getting a walk, yep. uh, it might be helpful for you to contact your neighbors who are in those situations and say, hey, can I get something from the store for you? Do you need something? That would be a very, very good thing to do. Yeah. And 
because of compassionate words, it would actually help them in other ways right. in case they did. Yeah, yeah. it actually may boost their immune system to help fight off uh, anything they get. Um, so some people are uh, asking some questions. We appreciate the interaction. Um, well, you're going through those. Can I be uh, the, the critical one against those studies? Oh, sure. Go okay, ahead. So yeah. when I hear studies like this, I, like many of you, will think, uh, that, that doesn't sound very scientific. Uh, it sounds like there's a whole lot of subjectiveness going on. And that's absolutely right. There is a whole lot of subjective uh, measurement going on, but it still nonetheless does find the difference that the people are having mm -hmm. a self-reported lessening of symptoms. And that matters. Yeah. Yeah. And and the compassionate care from the physician in the, in the second study is a, um, it, it's a uh, scientifically valid survey of, of what the doctor said and, and what compassionate words they used. So it's not, it is still a little bit of the patient's um, perception of that. It is. But it, but it still is a, a scientifically valid. But, but that survey. actually is what we're measuring is the right. perception. So exactly. Yeah. So it exactly. Counts. Okay. Yeah. Uh, somebody, uh, who is it here? Uh, Real Ruler 2112, wondering how long they should expect to be out of work. I guess the, the, the question is, how oh, long is this yes. going to be uh, an issue? Great question. Do you have the answer? <laughs> if I had the answer. It's written on the bottom of, the, bottom of these mugs. Yeah, yeah. Get one. Uh, <laughs> maybe get one for your friends, too. Um, the, yeah, then it's... you'll know. We don't know. That's the answer. That's the answer. The, it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. We're still in that point where it's going to get worse before it gets yeah. better. I remember reading in the governor's uh, proclamation for California when we were put under uh, Solter in place, and it said something about duration or or date that it expires, and it was just, we'll find Open. out. Yeah. yeah, I don't remember the exact wording, but it right. was essentially, don't know. Right. I, know, I don't think anybody who's off work has been given any, oh, well, we're going to call you up in two weeks and come back in. No, yeah. I think it's all open right now. Yeah. My kid's school, your your kid's school. Well, my it's kids are out for the, for the rest of the spend. year, well, right? Well, they're doing online. But, yeah, 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 but they're they're not going back to the, the dorms. Right? We don't even know how we're going to get their stuff out of the dorm. We were going to drive hmm. down, and then the proclamation came out, and... Yeah, you're not even supposed to. So, yeah, we don't know. Same thing with my kids. They are currently on spring break, but once they go back, it... Um, it's it's not going back. It's going to be, uh, you know, study at home, home study. Yeah. And they're saying probably till the end of the year. So yeah. that is, what, end of May, June? Uh, and then we get into the summer, and well, who knows? We'll, we'll see where it goes. What else do we have? Oh, well, let's see. Um, let's see. Thank uh, you, 2112. Yes, thanks for, for the comment. comment. Uh, how long does uh, it last once you have it? I, I presume that Laura is re referring to the COVID-19. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I... I I've been looking for that. I see that they have tracking of people getting over the virus, but I don't know if they're as on top of tracking people who have resolved symptoms as they are people testing positive. Right. And so it's really lagging behind. And yeah, what, we're, we're pretty good at knowing when it starts, you know, the incubation yeah. period, which is actually variable, it seems. Uh, it's kind of this S curve where three it could be as weeks. early as two days and uh, as long as two weeks, the average being about one week in there. Um, but as long as, as uh, far as how long the disease lasts, um, we don't know for sure. It, it I'm seems to be. impression two weeks. That seems to be what people are saying. You know, if you get it, stay home yeah. until your symptoms are gone or, you know, which seems to be about two weeks. So. I'm hoping it's quicker, but. Yeah. We will um, be finding out. Laura Spurs says, our mayor is telling us now that the police can enforce when it comes to the beach and parks. People will be fined. Okay. So getting a little bit of a... Well, I hope they let you do it as long as you're six feet apart. Right, I'm yeah. Hoping. I would think parks and beaches would be fairly yeah. safe places. Of all, you know, I'd try to avoid the more indoors place. The governor places. of California gave a speech Sunday, and he was recommending that people do be out yeah. and, and be six feet apart. Yeah, yeah. You're still maintaining that distance. Which is unfortunately hard to do sometimes. You know, other it seems like I'm very cognizant of it, but other people aren't. Some people like come up to me. I'm like, hey, 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 where's my six feet? Come on, back up. You're never gonna let that go. <laughs> yeah, I'm good for the rest of my life now. Stay away, six feet. <laughs> we went to on Stevens Trail uh, Saturday or Sunday, and we, we were surprised at how crowded it was and oh. how you you had so many people either you were passing or passing you. You couldn't keep, you know, there's places on the trail where there's, you know, you just happen to meet at that part of the trail where 
You can't you gotta get around up somehow. Six yeah. feet one way or the other. You know, it's on a it's on a cliff. Right. So that that wasn't too cool. We we wanted to do the hike, but it, it was just too yeah, crowded. A little congested. So think about that if you're going out to a really good hiking trail. Something to they may be too about. congested right now. Yeah. Everybody else doing the same thing, getting out. Um. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody else there, Governor, saying to stay in starting tomorrow night. That's Connie. I don't know where she's yeah, at. Yeah, I was going to say, what state's that? Um, I, yeah, I thought most of, oh, she lives in Indianapolis. So Indiana, Indiana okay. is starting to get all, yeah. do it now. Um, yeah, so I guess uh, the um, kids at home, that's kind of an interesting That's going to be a whole, I, I have a feeling that'll end up being on Life on 10. Oh, uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah, they'll, yeah. They'll probably be talking about they that. Should, should do it. Sister a... channel. Should I call them sister channel? Maybe. Hopefully they accept us That's... as a sister. I mean, we, we uh, brother. Wait, what? <laughs> they have really cool mugs, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that is uh, definitely affecting our society. You know, schools are being closed and, and kids are being home. Parents are off work. Uh, this is, you know, there's a whole other aspect which we try not to get into, but the financial aspect of this. Oh my gosh! It's just beyond, uh, you know, that's where that's not our so many, <laughs> area of expertise. So many, We're just the medical side. It's everybody who's but not everybody doing what we are or everybody is affected. Support at that level. Right. Yeah. They're non-essential, non-essential business. Or, fortunately, a lot of work can be done from home. I, I hear a lot of people being creative and some and industries. Yeah, and we're to thankful for those people home. who have, you know, like James with his job. But my dad was able to work at home. He's, he's working at home now. So but there's so many yeah. who can't. And, right. You know, yeah. it's just the tiniest little bit that we can do. But we're trying to support the local restaurant owners. Yeah. By right. getting takeout. Yeah, doing uh, what you can. Because a lot of them you have can't to shut down. Dine in, it, right. it hurts. Yeah. Yeah, um, and here we're we're a little slow here, um, just because we're we trying are. to keep uh, it'll it'll come the, though it's the, coming. the vulnerable away, um, doing more video visits yeah. and um, trying to shift people away from actually getting out of their house if they're more vulnerable. Yeah, yeah to a certain extent, we're we're making it happen by telling people don't come in right now. That's something that can wait. Yeah. Or, or the video visits, but right. uh, it is the calm before the storm. It's just the facts. Of it. I don't know if you've read into this yet. Where I've called, we've called. I had it happen today where I called a patient, and you know, really, I said you should be staying home. He's like, no, I want to come and see you. And he didn't didn't have any you know symptoms yeah. or anything, but he was an older older gentleman, and uh, he's like, no, I've got to see you, and, and he did. It was and it was an we're able appropriate to. visit, yeah. but oh, uh, it was yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was something that turned into something, but yeah. And we also have something else coming up on the channel this week. Right. You've, this, this is Preview. kind of a funny thing. I, I put out just to channel members the colonoscopy So that means video. some of you have already seen this. But it actually got announced to everybody who's on notifications, which you get by hitting the little bell icon. So there, anybody who got that notification is able to, or got an email. Did you get an email or? No, just notifications just pop up. Yeah. So you're able to actually see a video that was only intended for the members. <laughs> and it's not available I saw it. for general searching on YouTube of the the 22 minute version of my colonoscopy a week or so ago. With the the we will have the 10 minute effects. version with the sounds. Yeah, <laughs> the 10 minute version does not have those sounds, and that will be out probably this Friday. Yeah, you'll be able to eat during that one. Oh, maybe not. And and uh, that one, yes, that one will not get the comments like, "Oh, seriously, doctor, you put this on here." <laughs> that was just for the channel members. Yeah. Then the patrons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see. Any other comments? I think we're pretty... Yeah, anything else before we uh, speak um, to the patrons? Down here, the spring breakers were at the beach. Well, why are they... At... Spring breakers should be home. I mean, true, That's truly, whole conversation. spring yeah. break That's should not be one of those times where, at least now, where you're going to I thought it'd be cool if they were six feet apart, but apparently yeah. they weren't. Um, and apparently they weren't really observing any kind of social distancing. Pretty sure social distancing and spring break don't... Don't go together. Go together. All right. So uh, Lindsay Antoine says, I love not having to leave my house. I still have to go to work. But other than that, I'm home for the duration. Hey, I'm with you. Yep. Good video on Facebook, Lindsay. Yeah. I, uh, I enjoy being home, too. Yep. Yep. She, she went to the store and saw what was going on. Oh, yeah. The, the whole hoarding. Uh, oh, my goodness. Commented on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard not to comment on that, the, the yeah. craziness. She actually found there. some toilet paper somewhere in Whew. North Carolina, I think. Yeah. <laughs> At a Walmart, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Strange, strange stuff going on. Yeah. So, 
You want it to think? Yeah, well, go check out the um, a blog over at drgreennight.com. Uh, link, link in the description. The description. Um, yeah, some uh, pretty good read, if I might say so myself. Some yeah. good studies to at least that check out there, so, so go look at it. Uh, and if you have not checked out last week's, last week's was fun, too. It was a little... Um, poem that I wrote on oh, these good. mitigation techniques. That I, I had fun writing that one. I needed something that was a little more lighthearted with everything that was going on. So check those out. But I would like to thank my Patreons, uh, Boo Boo Kitty and Teresa Roat. Thank you. You make it happen. Appreciate and it. And thank you, Lindsay Antwine. All right. Till next time. Yeah, I'm Dr. Gwen Vaughn. Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health. See ya. And take a picture with the mug. Get by a mug. Have some water.